A fire at a Coventry Rehabilitation Center prompted more than 20 rescue vehicles to respond, all on hand to transport two dozen people to the hospital for smoke inhalation. Massive response is all part of training firefighters complete for mass casualty incidents. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to a Coventry fire chief about the training. She joins us now in studio with the story. Well, the average person may hear the words mass casualty and think death was involved, but for firefighters, it's how they categorize incidents with multiple injuries, like what happened in Coventry. And specific training comes into play, which was on full display Thursday night. It was a hectic scene. 22 ambulances from across the state parked one by one outside this respiratory and rehabilitation center in Coventry after a fire broke out in one of the rooms. The sheer number of potential victims prompted a strategic response associated with a mass casualty incident, something firefighters regularly train for. We, we hope we never have them, but you know, certainly it was a test of um, that training. Frank Brown is the Central Coventry Fire Chief. He explained the mass casualty training involves coordination with multiple fire departments who respond to a scene. As the rescues pulled up in front of the, the Genesis, we would, uh, the firefighters inside would wheel them out, transfer the patient over to the stretcher, and then they would load them in and that rescue would leave. Based on how many potential victims, Brown says that determines the size of the response and what other departments will assist. Thursday night, ambulances from Westerly, Jamestown, and even Foster were among those to respond. Brown says smoke was three feet high after a fire broke out in a room, but luckily there were no major injuries. And, and last night was a testament that, you know, sprinklers save lives, and, and, and it did last night. Now, the fire marshal tells me the cause of the fire is still being determined. It remains under investigation. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.